Hi and welcome to the tutorial on how to save images for web using Photoshop. Um, I'm working with a Mac here, I've got Adobe Photoshop CS6. Regardless of what kind of computer you've got, what version of Photoshop, you'll be able to follow along with this. So what we're going to do is go to File, Open, and we're going to open the image we'll be working with. So today, what have I got here? An image uh, I took of the uh, lighthouse at the tip of the North Island of New Zealand uh, on the trip there with my family last year. Now, yes, this is how to save images for web, but I'm going to give you a couple more tips as we go along. So firstly, when we're optimizing images, we want to get them as small a file size as possible, but we want to have the image of a decent size that, so that if somebody could potentially click on the image and enlarge it in a light box, and it's going to look good regardless of whether someone's on a little cell phone or a you know decent sized laptop or computer. Uh, we're covering all bases here and we're getting something that can work the best. So what we want to do is remove any excess weight on the image that's going to take up space later. And right now this part of the road here is definitely, you know, I don't I don't need that in there. And you know, really, I don't need a lot of that to still get the effect. I want to keep some of the sky in there. Uh, and I want to keep a decent aspect, but I don't need need all of that. So if we can take some of the weight off the photo originally, then that's great. Okay, so I'm going to crop that. Now that was using the cropping tool, very easy to work out. Uh, the next thing I like to do with images I'll be uploading to the website is just taking the image and giving it an auto tone uh, and an auto contrast. Photoshop auto tools for that are great. Often when you put an image on a website it dulls the image a little bit. So another thing I like to do Let's dress up the image a little bit by adding a bit of saturation here. Um, just to help it zing a little bit, and then on the web page it'll kind of cancel that back out again. Okay, so we've got our image prepared, and we want to know how big it is. So we're going to go up to image, image size. Okay, we've got an image here of 4,700 pixels wide. It's 37 megabytes, so it's a pretty big image. And we are going to reduce the image size down to something that will look you know, pretty decent on anything, but but we can get, so I'm thinking 1 to 1200, we'll, here we go, we'll go 1200 by roughly 700 here. And we'll see what we can get it down to. We might need to make it smaller. Okay, so we've taken it to 1200 pixels wide at 100%, you know, full size, that's what we're looking at. Much bigger than you need for a blog post, a little bit of overkill, but it does mean that you could use it as a featured image. Somebody could click on it and enlarge it as a light box in their screen, so... We might take this down to a thousand pixels if we need to. Let's have a look. Saving for web, we go to Photoshop File, Save for web. Uh, I've got my four up settings here so I can see four windows at once. Now the things that matter here are our quality. Uh, that's going to affect our file size. So our original is 2.41 megapixels. Now at the moment this has come set a lot set at 18. And 18 is saving at 84k. So we, you know, I said that we want to get this to around 100, so if we could go smaller that would be good, but right now it's looking you know, pretty pixelated to be honest, so we'll take it to you know, a little bit more. Now let's get it to around 100. Okay, so you can see that the image is looking a little bit pixelated, it could be nicer, so what we're actually going to do is drop this down even more to 1000. Still a decent size image. Still going to look good anywhere, but we'll be able to keep the quality a little bit better. And we're going to raise up the quality a little bit here. So at the moment, 18's taken us to 60k. So we'll just increase this. We've gone to 78k. 25 is 85k. 30. There we go. Quality of 35 has taken us to exactly 100k. We've got a good compromise there of the image pixel size, of the file size and of the quality and of a fast loading time for our users so that we get more traffic and get better ranking and more people can see and enjoy our content. And we're going to save it here. And we're going to save it as something uh, that we actually understand and will remember. So I'm going to save this as um, Lighthouse New Zealand, and if you're saving this for a blog post, you will want to label your images as something that search engines can read, something relevant. Um, we can get into more detail about that another day. Save. And you've now taken your 
big image here, and this is what you've got it to. You know, it's much better size. It still looks good. Colors look fine. Quality is more than good enough for a blog post. And you've got it at 100 kilobytes, which is like the page will load fast and it's not a hassle for your users. So uh, thanks for logging in. If you'd like to see some more tutorials, click the link below. Cheers.